Frank Kendall, a name synonymous with American air dominance, a figure who has shaped the very fabric of modern aerial warfare. As Secretary of the Air Force, he stood as the principal architect of the Next Generation Air Dominance Program, a visionary initiative aimed at securing the skies for decades to come. His mission was clear and ambitious, to usher in a new era of air power with the sixth generation fighter jet, a marvel of modern engineering. This fighter was designed not just to surpass all others but to redefine the very concept of aerial warfare, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. Kendall poured resources and ambition into the project, his vision clear and unwavering, to maintain America's unchallenged reign in the skies, ensuring dominance for generations. Kendall believed in radical innovation, not incremental upgrades. He sought to leapfrog current technology, aiming for breakthroughs that would leave competitors far behind. He pushed for a fighter that wouldn't just be an evolution but a revolution in military aviation, a game-changer in every sense. The sixth-generation fighter was to be a quantum leap forward, a technological marvel that would render adversaries obsolete before they even took flight, a true masterpiece of innovation. Little did anyone know, a storm was brewing on the horizon, one that would challenge the very foundations of Kendall's grand vision. A single statement from Kendall in July 2024 would send shockwaves through the defense community, shaking the confidence of many leaving everyone wondering about the future of the next generation air dominance program and the fate of the sixth generation fighter, a project that had once seemed so certain. July 2024. The hushed anticipation of a defense symposium hung heavy in the air. All eyes were on Frank Kendall as he stepped up to the podium. He spoke of progress, of technological leaps, and the unwavering commitment to the next generation air dominance program. Then, a pause. A shift in his demeanor. The air crackled with anticipation as Kendall uttered seven words that would reverberate for years to come. With the platform itself, we're taking a pause. The room buzzed. What did this mean? Was the sixth generation fighter being scrapped? Were there unforeseen technical hurdles? Or was there something more? A strategic calculation hidden beneath the surface. Kendall, a master of controlled pronouncements, offered no further elaboration, leaving the world to speculate about the fate of the revolutionary fighter jet. The sixth-generation fighter, shrouded in secrecy since its inception, was now an enigma wrapped in even deeper mystery. Imagine a predator, silent and unseen, gliding through the darkest of nights. That's the sixth-generation fighter. Its stealth technology isn't just an upgrade, it's a complete paradigm shift. Gone are the days of radar cross-sections measured in centimeters, the 6th Gen exists in the realm of the practically invisible, a ghost in the machine of enemy radar systems. This is achieved through a revolutionary design that blends seamlessly with the surrounding environment. Its skin, composed of advanced metamaterials, can manipulate electromagnetic waves, effectively rendering it invisible to radar. But the 6th Gen's stealth goes beyond radar. It's designed to minimize its infrared, acoustic, and even visual signatures, making it a true phantom in the sky. This invisibility is not just about avoiding detection, it's about achieving absolute surprise. The sixth generation fighter is more than just an aircraft. It's a marvel of aerospace engineering, meticulously crafted to push the boundaries of speed, maneuverability, and range. Its aerodynamic design is a testament to form following function, every curve and angle optimized for both high-speed dashes and agile dogfights. Capable of reaching hypersonic speeds, the sixth gen can outrun and outmaneuver any adversary but its true strength lies in its versatility. The 6th Gen is not confined by traditional mission parameters. It can seamlessly transition from air superiority roles to deep strike missions, from reconnaissance to electronic warfare. This adaptability is made possible by its advanced fly-by-wire system and its ability to integrate seamlessly with a network of other platforms, from satellites to drones, creating a complete and dynamic picture of the battle space. Section 5 Reign of Fire, Advanced Weaponry. The sixth-generation fighter is not just a platform, it's an arsenal. It carries a deadly array of next-generation weaponry, each component meticulously designed to deliver maximum impact. Forget traditional missiles reliant on explosives. The sixth-gen will be armed with hypersonic weapons that can outrun any defense system, striking targets with unparalleled precision. Imagine a weapon that can travel at Mach 5, changing course mid-flight, rendering enemy countermeasures useless. And then, there are the directed energy weapons high-powered lasers and microwave emitters, capable of disabling enemy aircraft and electronic systems with pinpoint accuracy. 
These weapons powered by revolutionary compact fusion reactors offer an inexhaustible magazine, ensuring the 6th gen can engage in prolonged conflicts without depleting its arsenal. This is not just about firepower, it's about dominance. Section 6. The Digital Battlefield AI and Network-Centric Warfare The 6th generation fighter is more than just a machine, it's a thinking, adapting entity on the battlefield, designed to revolutionize modern warfare. Its advanced artificial intelligence acts as a co-pilot, processing vast amounts of data, identifying threats and suggesting optimal courses of action in real time. This AI-driven assistance allows the pilot to focus on mission-critical tasks without being overwhelmed by the sheer volume of information. The pilot, no longer bogged down by information overload, is free to strategize and make critical decisions with unprecedented speed and accuracy. This synergy between human and machine enhances the overall effectiveness of the mission. But the true power of the 6th gen lies in its network-centric warfare capabilities, which enables seamless communication and coordination across various platforms. It acts as a node in a vast, interconnected web of sensors and shooters, creating a unified and responsive combat environment. It can share real-time data with other aircraft, ground units, and even satellites, creating a comprehensive and dynamic picture of the battlefield. This real-time data exchange ensures that all units are operating with the most current information. This seamless flow of information allows for coordinated strikes, swift responses, and the ability to outmaneuver and outgun the enemy at every turn. The integration of AI and network-centric capabilities ensures that every move is calculated and precise. This is not just about winning battles, it's about achieving complete information dominance, ensuring that our forces have the upper hand in any scenario. Section 7. A Pause for Progress Decoding Kendall's Statement Kendall's pause, far from signaling defeat, hinted at a calculated recalibration. The rapid evolution of technologies like artificial intelligence and hypersonic flight demanded a measured approach. Was the pause a move to integrate even more cutting-edge tech into the 6th gen? Was it a strategic feint to mislead adversaries about the program's true progress? The implications extended beyond the technological realm. The pause could signal a shift in strategic thinking, a recognition that true air dominance in the 21st century requires more than just a superior fighter jet. Could Kendall be envisioning a future where the 6th gen operates not in isolation, but as part of a networked ecosystem of autonomous drones, hypersonic missiles, and cyber warfare capabilities? The possibilities, much like the 6th generation fighter itself, remain shrouded in secrecy and speculation. Section 8. The Future Takes Flight, A Call to Speculation The 6th generation fighter, even in its pause state, represents a pivotal moment in military aviation. It stands as a symbol of the next frontier, a beacon of what human innovation can achieve when pushed to its limits. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a bold step into the unknown. The meticulous craftsmanship and cutting-edge technology involved are nothing short of extraordinary. But it also raises profound questions. What are the ethical implications of such advancements? How do we balance innovation with responsibility? In an era of rapidly evolving threats and technological leaps, how do we define air dominance? Is it merely about having the fastest or most elusive aircraft? Or is there more to it? Is it about speed, stealth, or the seamless integration of man and machine? Perhaps it's a combination of all these elements, working in perfect harmony. Will the 6th gen be the ultimate expression of air power, or just a stepping stone to even more revolutionary concepts? Only time will tell. The future of warfare is being written in the hangars and laboratories where the 6th generation fighter is taking shape. Here, the boundaries of what's possible are constantly being pushed. It's a future brimming with both promise and peril. One where the line between science fiction and military reality continues to blur. The implications of these advancements are vast and far-reaching. What role will this technological marvel play in shaping the geopolitical landscape of the 21st century? Its impact could redefine global power structures. The answer, like the sixth generation fighter itself, is still taking flight. As we look to the skies we can only speculate on the heights it will reach.